I'm currently helping a client set up Slack and it occurred to me that I have never published a video about the Evernote integration, the Evernote app for Slack. And this is what we are doing today. The first thing to do, of course, is to add the Evernote app. You can do that by clicking the Add App option. And with that done, you have to connect your Evernote account to the Evernote app on Slack. With that done, you now have three slash commons that you can use. Okay, let's start by typing slash note help. You can see all the options. So as you can see here, it is straightforward. All I have to do is type slash note, new note, and send. Slack created a new note. The title is note to self from Slack. And every time you use the slash note to create a note, that note will be added to this note in your Evernote. You can move this to a different notebook. It is originally created in your uh, default notebook, but there's no problem uh, if you wanna move it to a different notebook. You can even delete it, but the next time you type something using the slash note, Slack will create this same note again. And by the way, everything you type using the slash note command it's only visible to you. It, 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 no, no one else will see that uh, on that channel. Are you a Web Clipper user? I think you'll find this one pretty cool. So if I type clip help, take a look at this. I can clip and save messages from this channel in my Evernote. If I type clip, and a date, for example, a clip since yesterday. This will create a new note, clipping all the messages that I have here from yesterday. I can even clip a month, a year, at a specific date, or even if I right click here, for example, I can copy this link. Let's do it, copy link address, and I can slash, clip and I'll, I'll clip that message. Okay, that's already in my Evernote. We'll get there soon, but let, let me clip another one here. Clip since yesterday. Like I said, I have only two messages here on this channel. So this command will clip the one from yesterday, the one uh, at the top, this is a new message, and also the one below that one, good morning. So let's do it. And now let's go to Evernote. So this is the first one, this is a new message, and here it is, the second one with both messages. This is good if you want to clip something that someone posted, or let's say you want to keep a backup of an entire month, or an year. I, I think this is pretty cool. Let's go back. It wouldn't be Evernote without search, right? And you can tell that a lot of thought went into this one too. So let's take a look at the find command. Like before, let's start by typing slash find space help. And here's the fun part. Searching inside Slack is pretty much like searching using Evernote's search box. We can use a word, for example, slash find, let's say Kanban, and Slack will show me notes in my Evernote with the word Kanban. And now let's use this one as an example of a search using the quotation marks. This will search that specific phrase or multiple words. Find history of Kanban. Okay, history of Kanban, history of Kanban. And I'm pretty sure there is history of Kanban somewhere in this note. Let's use the history. Okay, history of Kanban, here it is. Okay, this is already 
pretty cool, but there's more. First, as you can see, all these searches, they have the private word and nobody that is in this channel can see the search result. They will only see the ones I post. So if I want to post this one here and I click here, now this, did you, did you get the, the, the little slack noise? Now I posted that note. So let's take a look at my real account. This is not my real account, of course. And here it is. Okay, let's go back to the other account and again type find space help. Take a look at the last item. That's advanced search. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check this video. I, I recently talked about this topic, but there's a lot that we can do with the advanced search. For example, let's talk about the example they are showing here. In title, we'll search for notes that have a word in their titles. Okay, so let's look for, okay, two. Let's try two. Okay, slash find in title two. And there it is. But there is so much that we can do with the advanced search. For example, let's try find uh, to do false. This means that Evernote will look for all the notes that have checkboxes that are not checked. And here's a note. Let's try find to do true. Couldn't find any notes. Yeah, that may be the case because this is my test account. There's not a lot of notes here. Let's try a different one here. For example, uh, Agile. This has seven notes with the Agile tag. So let's go back to Slack. Find tag. Pretty cool. <laughs> Okay, three notes, maybe it doesn't show all the notes. I don't know. Okay, so let's try something more specific. I'm gonna look for notes inside the Apple IIe notebook with the ADT Pro tag. Let's try this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty cool. Well, it looks like the advanced search works pretty well here. One more reason to learn it. Again, there is a video here in the channel about this topic. In fact, there are many videos. And if this one was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to help even more, please consider becoming a Patreon or a YouTube member. Thanks for watching. See you soon.